So there are four main muscles in the abdomen. The deepest ones, the transverse abdominis. Then the next two layers are the external oblique and the internal oblique. And the most surface layer is the rectus abdominis. Two muscles which come from the front, like this, and which sometimes they're called the six-pack muscles. So these front muscles can become active simply by pushing the hips forward. And if I push the hips forward, you can see that the front of my abdomen is firm, but the sides are fully relaxed. For most people to get this, to, this effect, simply pushing the, front, the hips forward, everything will be tense for most people. But most people can push the hips forward and notice that if you breathe into your abdomen, the sides will start to feel like they're getting softer while you're breathing in, but the front will stay firm. So when I exhale fully and you see this muscle appear in front here, this is done because I'm pushing the hips forward. So I exhale fully, hold the breath out and expand my chest as if I'm breathing into the chest, but not. But this in itself is an art because for most people, they can't control chest expansion unless the abdomen is held firm. Most people will only breathe into the chest if their abdomen is held firm. And the problem with this is that it actually makes the heart beat faster and stimulates the nervous system more. So, the ability to control your muscles of inhalation and exhalation is often emphasized in exercise and as if it's something to do with the benefit of taking air in and out. But actually the real benefits of using the muscles of inhalation and exhalation are more anatomical. I can breathe in with my abdomen. I can breathe in with my chest. I can breathe out from my abdomen. I can breathe out from my chest. Or I can do the same four places without breathing into the abdomen, breath in, into the chest, breath in, out from the abdomen, breath out, out from the chest, breath out. The same again, I point without breathing. 